What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new AEW action figure news for you guys. You guys remember back, uh, I don't even remember how long ago it was, right? Well, I guess they actually unveiled AEW series number one, like officially, I think, on February 22nd, I think, on my son's birthday, I think, was when they actually revealed series one in 2020. But I could, I could be wrong about that. I want to say, you know, we got the little promo shots and stuff, but the actual reveals of them on display or whatever was on on the 22nd. I think it was at, like, what, Toy Fair or something like that, but you guys know that those figures look different than the actual figures that we got, right? So when Series 1 actually released due to the pandemic and all those things, or something like that, we ended up getting a, like, pale skin tones for all of Series 1. The Kenny, the Cody, the Bucks, Brandy. I didn't think Brandy was that bad, honestly, but Jericho even. All of them had the pale skin tone, and after that, Series 2 got it fixed, and they said, you know, Jeremy's been telling us for months and weeks that we would be getting Series 1 re-released in in a version 2 with updated skin tones or the correct skin tones. Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, they actually put them up for pre-order and they have unveiled the full wave to us. And we're going to take a look at those because I want you guys to see exactly where you're going to be getting if you pre-order these. If you want to get these, you want to update your figures. Let's go ahead and take a look, man. And we're going to do a side-by-side -side with the Series 1A. So they're calling these... AEW Series 1 Version 2 or AEW Series 1B. So we are going to do a little comparison shot with Series A and Version 1. So let's just go ahead and dive into it, guys. Let's start off with the big one. Let's start off with Kenny Omega. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am not really feeling this. I don't really know what it is. But I think, um, I think I'm just kind of disappointed in it a little bit. I think what I was expecting in my brain when they said they would redo them and do the skin tone updated. I mean, they stuck to their guns. They did, you know, they did upgrade the skin tone. But I felt like in my brain, I was thinking we would get what we saw at Toy Fair. So I'll pull up the image that I thought we would be getting. Of course, that is the figure that I thought we would be getting. And then we ended up getting that pale version of Series 1. So that was a pretty big disappointment. Of course, it was a Kenny Omega. We were excited to have the Kenny Omega but comparing it to the figure that was at Toy Fair, uh, the Toy Fair figure looked insanely good. Like, the same one that they kind of used, or the head sculpt that they used, or the painted version they used on the basic ring box. That is what I thought we would be getting. We ended up getting the pale skin tone. Now we have the updated skin tone, and I don't know what it is, but it kind of looks like the Series 1 just spray painted. Or not spray painted, but like spray tanned. Like, it looks like it just has like a, like a light brown kind of just scanned over the figure. And it looks to me like the chest is a different color than the stomach, which is kind of, I, I mean, I'm sure that it looks better in person. I don't think these photos are the greatest, to be honest with you, but also, like, the face just looks a bit off. It's like they pretty much kept everything the same, except the skin tone is the lighter brown or that tan color, which I think also throws it off because the lips are still really pretty pale. Uh, the beard color is a little bit too dark, I think, and then the hair is still pretty dark, so I, I don't know. I feel like, just overall, the figure doesn't really look as great as it will in person. Also, I just, I don't know. I, I feel like maybe the pale version may be a little bit better. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you guys think. Which version do you guys like? I think the, I mean, the updated skin tone definitely looks better. I think it's just the head sculpt that's kind of throwing me off. And I'm hoping that this figure right here matches our Series 4 Kenny. Like, I hope that those aren't, like, two different or three different skin tones if you include the Series 1A. I hope that this is the exact same skin tone as the Series 4, and then we can just, you know, plop that head on there or or something like that if we want. Or maybe this just needs a lip and beard repaint to look better. Or maybe some hair. I don't know. I don't know what the whole deal is, but you guys can let me know down below. Overall thoughts on it, though, I really am not that excited for it. It is pretty much what I'm saying here for the Series 1 Kenny Omega for the, you know, the updated skin tone. I will say, though, I think most of this set is pretty good, though. So we'll go ahead and dive into that right quick before we get into the rest of them, guys. Taking a look at the Young Bucks. Let's start off with Matt Jackson. Now, this Matt Jackson, to me, looks very good. I think this is a serious upgrade from the Series 1. Now, I don't think the Bucks looked as bad. Like, their skin tone wasn't as bad to me as Kenny Omega's. I felt like Kenny Omega was super duper pale. This, or their Series 1A figures looked a little bit better than that. But this is definitely uh, doing much better for me. Again, I hope that this skin tone is the same skin tone as their Series 3 figures that were repainted, you know, in the blue, gold, and uh, white attire that we got for Series 3. I'm hoping that this skin tone that we're seeing on these 1B figures is the same 
as uh, their Series 3. I think that would be really nice, but the reason I say that is because I want to put this head sculpt onto my Series 3 because I don't like the Series 3 Matt Jackson, and then the Nick Jackson, again, looks great. I think both of these look significantly better, and another thing you could probably do is take your Series 3 Nick Jackson head sculpt, and you could plop it onto this figure if you'd like, if those skin tones match. Of course, you could have just done the full torso swap, but the head sculpts, I think, give us a little bit of a different look if we want for our Series 3 figures if they end up matching in skin tone. So, Hopefully that is the case. These bucks actually look a lot better. I don't think their feet or anything will be improved or anything. You know, these guys had a difficult job standing. I'm sure it'll be the exact same way for these. I don't think they tooled anything different or anything, but the skin tones for the Bucks and the head sculpts and stuff look significantly better than Series 1, so I love to see that. And we move forward, guys. Let's take a look at Cody and Brandy. Starting off with Cody, I think the Cody looks pretty good, you know? I think his pale figure wasn't as bad as the other ones, like we said. I think Kenny was definitely worse off, but I think Cody looks pretty good in this skin tone. One thing that I am interested to see is, I don't know if you guys knew this, but the UK Ring exclusive Cody and the AEW Series number 4 Cody Cody actually had two different skin tones so across the board we've seen like four different iterations this could be five different iterations of skin tone if you include the blood brothers you'd have that one the series 1a the series 1b the uk ring and the series 4 so hopefully this skin tone that we're getting on the upgrade is the same as either the series 4 or the same as the uk ring cody basic ring cody figure that we got with that one. I actually think the skin tone on the UK exclusive figure looks better, but uh, we will just have to see about that, and we'll also have to see if the ringside exclusive skin tone is the same as these as well. One thing that's really important with these AEW figures is that we keep things consistent. I think that's a really big important factor, so hopefully this Cody will look just as good as the UK Cody, because I really like that skin tone, and I think this Cody does look better than the other one. Maybe the lighting is just a little bit off. I think in better lighting all these figures actually would look better, but we'll just have to see. It kind of gives him like a muted looking color so we'll just have to see how all that plays out but there is Cody now taking a look at Brandy I honestly at first glance I really can't tell a huge difference in the Brandy at least from what I'm seeing I don't have the side by side up next to me all I have is the photo in my hand and then the figure of the Series 1A figure that I have. So all I have is the photo and the figure for reference, but it looks like it's very, very similar, if not the exact same. Again, I can't tell you for certain. You guys are looking at it side by side on your screen, so you guys can let me know what you think of it. But the Brandy doesn't look too bad to me. I think that, if anything, this will be a good way for people to track down Brandy that didn't get the, the Brandy the first time around because it didn't even get put out to stores mostly. So anybody that missed out on the first time Brandy, this is a great chance to track that down. And I'm also wondering, with this new 1B, is that going to send the Series 1 figures through the roof? That'll be another thing that we like to see. But finishing up our 1B set of Series 1 AEW figures, man, we have Chris Jericho. Now, I don't know how to feel. I feel like he kind of has like the similar thing going on with Kenny Omega where it kind of looks like he has a spray tan, especially on the head sculpt. I feel like the head sculpt needed to be repainted since we got this updated skin tone. But the arms look good. I think the upper chest looks good. But the stomach is a different color than the chest. And that is something that I'm not really feeling. So I don't know how we'll update that. I don't know if you could put this like maybe the lower torso for Matt Hardy in there and make that accurate. Uh, I think those are the only two guys that use that torso. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong about that, but maybe we can figure out a way around that. But the Jericho doesn't look as bad as I first thought it did in my first impression, but the stomach is definitely a different color. However, how many times have we said on camera it ends up looking two-tone, but then when you get it in hand, it doesn't look that way, which could interfere with pick feds and stop motions because they're coming through on camera, and when you're showcasing a figure that could end up causing problems, but if it's in person, it won't cause problems, so then you run into other deals, but at the end of the day, I want to know what you guys think of Series 1B or AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 1 Version 2, and I would like to know what you guys think down below. Another thing on the box, if you guys didn't notice in the box, in the bottom left-hand corner, they do separate themselves from the rest of the figure, so they have their figure number, so on the Cody Rhodes, it says Series 1, but then down there, it says Number 1, Series 1, V2, so it puts a V.2, so you know that this is the same second version so you get a little bit of a different look there with your mock collection not a huge thing but adding that number there definitely helps people out so they won't get confused or something like that but I would love to know what you guys think of all of these things down in the comment section below you know which ones look better which ones look worse are you going to rebuy any of these I definitely pre-ordered the full wave and I pre-ordered it without even looking at the figures so kind of you know I, I definitely want to review them anyway or definitely take a look at them and we can do a, a comparisons video if we don't do a full-fledged review I don't know because it's the same exact figure just 
different skin tones. So you guys can let me know what you think about that. But before we get out of here, guys, let's go ahead and get into our random shout out before we get out of here. And for this random shout out, it's going to go to Adam Larson, who says, Legend has it that Dolph Ziggler has crossed the line, referring to my GCW Pick Fed debut, where I came out in the GCW Royal Rumble. If you guys missed that, definitely go check that out. But Dolph Ziggler definitely crossed the line, man. Definitely crossed the line. And you better not do the same. You crossed the line, I've been beat.